Sniper Elite 5 takes place in 1944 and sees you following the story of Carl Fairborn, a US Ranger that uncovers a shocking project that could spell disaster for the Allies. You'll trek across real world locations that have been painstakingly recreated to offer an authentic experience before taking aim at your enemies using the high end sniping mechanics the series has become known for. Sniper Elite 5 also features a robust cooperative and PvP mode which allows you to invade other players' games and put an end to their mission. Reading that last part gave me death loop flashbacks. Sniper Elite 5 is taking aim at PC and every current gen console except for Switch on May 26th and locations from the popular horror movie franchise. These characters include Ash Williams, his younger sister Cheryl, Lord Arthur, and more. Over 25 weapons can be found throughout the game, including Ash's trademark gauntlet, boomstick, and chainsaw. In our preview of the game, Phil Hornshaw said Evil Dead feels like two games rolled together. For humans, it's a third person action game that's all about coordination, planning, and ripping enemies apart. Meanwhile, the demon player is almost more of a dungeon master in many cases, finding good spots to drop tougher enemies and traps to slow the other team down and waiting for the perfect moment to strike with the possession. Evil Dead the game is coming to PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Series X, and S, Switch, and PC on May 3rd. And Sanctuary, Salt and Sacrifice is another Souls-inspired Metroidvania from Ska Studios that tosses you into a land plagued by twisted mages. You play the role of a marked inquisitor, and it's up to you to hunt down the mages and take them out. On your journey, you'll craft unique weapons and armor, master runic arts, and explore a large labyrinth world either alone or with a buddy in online co-op. But beware, because friends aren't the only players you'll encounter, as Salt and Sacrifice also features PvP. Salt and Sacrifice will be available on May 10th for PS4, PS5, and PC. Tiyomi follows a young swordsman named Hiroki, who has sworn to protect his town as a vow to his dying master. The game is a 2D adventure game with a black and white filter similar to Ghost of Tsushima's Kurosawa mode, which was named after the legendary filmmaker Akira Kurosawa. Beyond that aesthetic, you can expect plenty of 2D hacking and slashing as you make use of Hiroki's lethal skills to face against threats beyond life and death. Trek Tiyomi is being developed by Flying Wild Hog, the studio behind the rebooted Shadow Warrior games. So if you're into those, there's a chance you might dig this one too. Trek Tiyomi will release on PS4, 5, Xbox One, Series X and S, and PC on May 5th. The moment is described as taking a sci-fi approach to Souls-like combat, but after watching a couple trailers, I can also see a little bit of Returnal mixed in there as well. In Dolmen, you're thrown into the hostile alien planet of Revion Prime. Your goal is to bring back samples of special crystals that will revolutionize space travel. Sounds simple, right? Well, that might be true if the monsters of the planet were friendly. Not to worry though, because you'll have tons of weapons, melee and ranged, at your disposal. Couple those weapons with your character's energy mode that imbues them with elemental effects, and you're ready to take on anything this dark and twisted planet can throw at you. Dolmen is coming to PC and every current gen console except for Switch on May 20th. Released in October of 2019, Deliver Us the Moon is a sci-fi thriller set in an apocalyptic near future where the natural resources of Earth are depleted. Weird how descriptions like that are starting to feel more real. In the game, you play as an astronaut that is sent to the moon in order to save everyone from extinction. So if you missed playing it the first time around or just want to experience it again on better hardware, you can do that when Deliver for us the moon rockets onto PS4 and Xbox Series X and S on May 9th. Empire the Masquerade Swan Song is a narrative RPG in which you play as three vampires with storylines that intertwine. Your goal is to find the right balance between human and animal in a story where choices can determine the fate of the three characters and of Boston. Each character has their own upgradable abilities and you can choose how to approach different situations using intimidation, seduction, or stealth. Prepare to make some heart-pounding decisions when Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song releases on PS4, 5, Xbox One, Series X and S, Switch, and PC 
on May 19th. You miss the good old days of playing a bright, cartoony animal platformer on your PS2 or GameCube, then the new Cow the Kangaroo might be for you. In the game, you play as Cow on a quest to find out what happened to your missing father. Pretty deep for a cute cartoon game. This game isn't Cow's first adventure though, but it still offers new challenges for him to overcome as well as secrets to uncover. One of those secrets lie in the mysterious and powerful gloves that Cow uses to explore and defeat foes. Cow the Kangaroo Roo is punching and hopping his way onto every current gen console and PC on May 27th. Pac-Man Museum Plus is the sequel to 2014's Pac-Man Museum that features 14 games from the Pac-Man franchise. These titles range from the 1980 original to the 2015 Pac-Man 256, a game that was not a part of the first museum collection. Other new additions include Pac and Time, Pac-Man Arrangement, Pac Motos, and Pac and Roll Remix. And possibly the coolest feature for retro enthusiasts is the customizable arcade mode. In the game, you can walk around a virtual arcade as the yellow ghost eater and design the room to your liking using decorations that you can purchase using in-game currency. And don't worry, these coins are earned by just playing games and completing missions. The pack is back on May 27th for PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. Retro-inspired 2D Metroidvania, you're whisked away to a mythical land on the fringes of the afterlife. Soldiers is described as having souls-like combat, very common these days, and you'll be slashing, dodging, and parrying your way through dozens of tough enemies. The game's pixel art world is packed with details, and there are secret pathways ways and treasures to find all over. Soldiers releases on May 19th for PS4, 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, Switch, and PC, SnowRunner is an off-road simulation game that will test your patience. In this follow-up to MudRunner, you're tasked with delivering goods across unforgiving terrain in your choice of 40 unique vehicles with advanced physics. You can take on the mud, water, snow, and frozen lakes alone or with up to four friends in co-op. SnowRunner is driving onto PS5 and Series X and S on May 31st.